Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Richard Hatt, the head pro at Royal Melbourne Golf Club, where he's going to teach us how to backspin the golf ball. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around till the end of this episode, I'm going to invite you to become a member of our 19th hole clubhouse and channel where you can watch hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes and documentaries. Plus you'll get member only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, tours and signature programs. But before you become a member, let's find out how to backspin the golf ball. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. I'm with Richard Hatt, the head pro here at Royal Melbourne. Richard, the greens. I'm battling to keep the ball on the green. How do I do backspin? Well, around this greens, around this course with the greens being hard and fast, you need to get some backspin. So there's three things we need to look at, I guess, really, Andrew, is we need to have grooves on the club that are nice and sharp. So those ones that wear them out all the time, we need to get something a bit newer. We need a premium ball that's soft enough that it can get some spin. But the execution of the shot, the way we need to play it, is that we need to have the difference between the loft of the club and a hitting down motion. So we need a club with some loft and we need a descending blow on the ball that gives it what we call in the trade spin loft. As you hit down, that creates backspin. The grooves on the face run down the face of the ball, create backspin, and that's what gives you the ability to try and spin it. Why okay. don't we have a bit of a Shall go? We? Yeah. So we've got a 52 out here. What we're going to look at doing is get into this shot. We're going to really focus on now, really trying to get the feeling of actually having a bit of a club here. And as we come down, what we're really going to try and do is concentrate on coming just down here, Andrew, on the back of the ball, and see if we can get a bit of backspin on that ball. Nice. And you can see there, it spit, spun after that second bounce, had a bit of bite, and that's really getting a nice clean contact with good sharp grooves, good premium ball, and a slightly descending blow. Why don't you have a bit of a go? So Richard, I'm really trying to hit down on the back of that ball. Yeah, so Andrew, what I want you to do is get it into that middle of your stance and put a little bit of weight on that left shoe. And what I really want you to try and do this time is when you're coming down to the ball, we've got that 52 degree, we're gonna try and get down on the back of that ball, just squeeze it down on it. The grooves on the face will help put some backspin. Let's see if we can get this ball to stop on the green here. Looking pretty good. So it should take a bounce, possibly another one. And see that just bite down then? You could see that have a little bit of spin. Yeah. You start doing that, you're gonna shoot some more good scores. That almost went in the hole, Richard. That was a great shot, well done. Thank you. Perfect. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful, or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we wanna help you feel a lot more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game. So I want to personally invite you to join our 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below and as a member, you'll get access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll also get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like me, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another lesson, then leave a like and a comment below and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who you think might benefit from this lesson, then hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too so I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing and commenting guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.